Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Okreke. I welcome you to CM Videos, a YouTube channel where we try to help you curate the best FEA solutions. And the essence of this video is to help you determine numerically the Poisson ratio. This is something that is very important, especially when you're looking at a heterogeneous system where you've got a lot of microstructural constituents that make up a system. It's not always very easy to find the Poisson ratio by, by simple calculations. So can we do that numerically? And this is what this video is aimed. It's part of a series of videos that I'm making on the Abacus tips and tricks. So let's go ahead and get started with this modeling. So the first thing we need to think about while we do this is the theory behind what we're actually trying to do. Poisson ratio is essentially negative, the transverse strain divided by the longitudinal strain. If you erase that equation into a straight line, it becomes this in this form. And what does that mean? So this is the longitudinal strain and the transverse strain. So you can then plot that into a graph from which you derive from your numerical simulation, put a linear fit to that graph, and then the slope of that linear fit becomes your Poisson ratio. So we want to illustrate this using a real simple case, which is a short fiber composite that is undergoing a transverse tension as shown in this diagram. And what we notice here is that, okay, it's got lots of fibers within it. And what do we know about the fibers? The volume fraction of the fiber is 20%. The Poisson ratio of the fiber component only is 0.2. The Poisson ratio of the matrix component, which in this case is an epoxy, is 0.4. But what would be the homogenized Poisson ratio for such a system when you have this heterogeneity in the system? And so we want to do this numerically within Abacus. Okay, so here we are in Abacus, and this is the simulation that I've shown. I've already run this simulation. And if we just do a little bit of the animation, what you find out is that this is the composite material that is being pulled up in this in, in this upward direction. If you want to really get to know a little bit more about this exact form of simulation, the setup and all that, there is a video that I've put on the card, so please do check it out so that you can see how this is done. But what is really interesting for us is how we can extract this Poisson ratio. So first, what you need to go, go to create data, X, Y, you know, ODB field output, so you continue. And what you want to do with this is you want to make sure that the position, the output variable you're looking for is a unique nodal variable. And then you go to the displacement section. Okay, so in the displacement section, if you click on that, open up the displacement section here. So you select this displacement in the x and y direction because you will need that for this now under the which variable are you going to use which particular points are you going to track and it makes sense to track what's happening at this tip and at the other tip there because those are the regions that will give you displacement that you then use to calculate transverse strain and the longitudinal strain so if we click on that and click edit selection so i'll just select that point and press down shift and select the both so you select both of them and then after you select in there you click done so it's added and then you can plot that so it's not really very interesting but what's basically what it's showing you is the plot in the x and y direction of those two points that you've taken you've taken now you need to export this data into excel so that you can manipulate it get your linear profile as well i mean you can do that within abacus itself but it's easier for me to export it into excel so if i copy that data now what i've done is i'll, I'll be putting this sheet also within the, in the description section of this video so please you can check it out so essentially what i've done here is what we've copied we can paste back into this environment basically what that means is that the data we had was the time and the, the displacement in the x direction for the first node time and displacement in the y direction for the second node and continuously all the way so i put here also the dimension of the specimen that I'm testing. The x direction is 720, the y direction is 200. Now we can calculate the longitudinal, st the longitudinal strain, which is basically the strain in the y direction divided by the, the length in the y direction. So we do that. The longitudinal direction is usually the direction of main loading. The transverse direction is the direction of going out to the main loading, So which is what you find here. So once we find that, then I can plot my graph together based on that put a line of linear fit on that and then you get that the Poisson ratio is basically the slope so in this case 0.3426 so we can also do the same here by just taking the slope of the whole data and this gives us a Poisson ratio so for this system that has a Poisson ratio for the fiber of 0.2 and the Poisson ratio for the matrix of 0.4 in a homogenized sense the overall composite material will give you a Poisson ratio of 0.346 and this is how we can do this right away in Abacus. So that's the sense of this video. If this is the kind of content that you like, please do subscribe to this channel. So when contents like this are made, um, you'll be the first to see it. Thank you very much and bye-bye.